Now taking a look at our full forecast starting off right now in Bakersfield. We're seeing 98 degrees. It's starting to cool off a little bit from what we were seeing earlier today. As you head down into the mountains, we're seeing more of those 70s, a little bit of the 80s, especially as you head towards Tehachapi as well. But as you head up towards Lake Isabella and Kernville, that's where we're seeing 90 degrees in the desert. For the most part, we're within the 90s, with the exception of China Lake at 100 degrees. Now tonight we're expecting to be between the 60s into the 70s for the most part. Uh, this excluding Fraser Park and Pine Mountain Club, which are a little bit in the 50s as well, but it is still recommended to have an AC running or something that can keep you cool through the night. Now, as we head into tomorrow afternoon, we're expecting to see pretty similar temperatures to what we saw earlier today, at least here in Bakersfield at 100 degrees, similar temperatures as you head up north and we're seeing some more of those 80s as you head down towards Fraser Park and Lebec but uh, more of those mid 90s as you head towards Lake Isabella and in the desert. We're expecting to see more of those triple digits with the exception of Mojave at 98 degrees. However, the desert is expecting to see some pretty strong winds starting to pick up overnight tonight and even as we head into tomorrow in the afternoon. And this also includes some of the mountain areas, but those are more gusty conditions. As for the desert, we're seeing somewhere between the 30 to 40 mile per hour range. And as we head into tomorrow afternoon, that's when we also see more of those widespread gusts affecting more parts of the county, but otherwise it's looking relatively breezy elsewhere. Not only that, we do have an excessive heat warning, which you can see in this pink color affecting many parts of not only Kern County, but also California in general. So that is something to keep in mind, especially if you plan on traveling. Now this starts Tuesday and lasts through Saturday night. Looking at that weather pattern, we can see the heat really starting to push in this ridge of high pressure, especially as we head towards 4th of July and really continuing even as we head into uh, later next week. But now let's get a look at the next seven days ahead of us starting off tomorrow in the valley. We have a high of 100 degrees and a low of 74 degrees, clear and sunny skies throughout the day. However, there is that drop in the air quality to unhealthy for sensitive groups, and we're expecting to stay within those triple digits, really picking up, especially as we head into Wednesday, um, now passing 110 degrees. Uh, that drops a little bit before picking up as we head into next weekend, continuing that heat wave. In the mountains, Fraser Park and Tehachapi starting off at 80 degrees, but mostly 90s throughout the rest of the week. Lake Isabella starting off at 95 and looking at those triple digits.